I'm a uh, I've been uh, a fan of what DC has been bringing uh, lately. It's been it's been pretty good. Uh, um, I've been quite impressed. Um, a lot and uh, nothing more uh, has really brought me to them in, uh, other than the shorts. The shorts have really made me you know say, man, I gotta buy this. Check these out. See what they're doing. I give them two them, thumbs up. Those shorts and the shorts are yeah, wow. Yeah. The shorts, you know, yeah, those, yeah, if awesome. anything, those are the main things that make me keep keep my keep my discs and keep watching them over and over. Those are the main things, at least in my opinion, that uh, that, that make me keep wanting to watch them because, like, for, or, or, in particular, the Spectre one was my favorite. Yeah, and I, and, right. and, awesome. and I love the appeal, and I love the fact that they try to make it see, seem like an old grindhouse type of '70s type of type of look with the grainy film and things like that. Awesome, just just they did that with Spectre. Spectre, yeah. yeah, it was it was great. Yeah, just 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 like that was like the best short that they did. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, they are all good, but I was like, this is pretty damn. And they did it with animation. Animation, yeah. yeah. It feel like an old seventies grindhouse picture. I get what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. I, I gotta like, see that. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. if you yeah. watch yeah. the, the, the yeah. Superman Black Adam uh, DVD, all three shorts on that with that. From Netflix too. But yeah. you don't get the shorts on that. Right. Yeah. 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 I thought they said the shorts was on Netflix. I don't think so. I when I was reading it, they said the shorts was on Netflix. I was checking. Mm -hmm. But like, I, I, I feel like if I buy the Blu-ray for that, I'm literally getting my money's worth in quality. Storytelling and animation. The animation yeah. looks great. DC yeah. has have gotten a lot of great animation. And don't get me wrong, I love Bruce Timm. I'm, so, I'm glad they finally gave Bruce Timm a rest. So I, because Bruce Timm is a, he's dope, but it was like they're using stuff like forever. I'm glad well, he is. He, he, he's the one in charge of animation right now. I mean, he's the man in charge right yeah, now. Yeah, but they gave his style a rest finally. But, except for Real Life coming up. Yeah, that's definitely Real Life. That, that's fine for one show. But why was it Bruce Timm stuff on everything? It's like, all right, guys. Give the man a rest, mm -hmm. but but yeah, it looks it looks pretty dope. Uh, and if you haven't seen those shorts, I highly recommend checking out those shorts, especially the Spectre. The Spectre one is dope. It, it, to me, it's worth your money for buying the Blu-ray or DVD. It's totally worth it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And like you know, as far as the DC films go, along with Under the Red Hood, which is my favorite, because like hands down, from like. The fight scenes between Batman and Red Hood versus those Cyber Ninjas to, you know, the quips between Joker and Black Mask going back and forth. I mean, that movie was awesome off the chain. Love Crisis of Infinite, or should I say Crisis of Two Earths. That was all good all around. And I also love, of course, Superman and Batman Apocalypse. I mean, anytime Superman and Darkseid are like within the city, expect off the chain fight. Whether Superman can beat him real badly and you do a little comeback or whatever. I mean, you can't ask no more than anything good than that. I mean, to kind of flip it back a little bit to Marvel though, what I'm loving about this new Avengers series is the fact that, yeah, you're putting the Avengers together and yeah, and you're taking like little bits and pieces like everything from the origins of how they get together to how they communicate and what have you. I like the fact that Everybody doesn't like fully really trust each other at first, mm -hmm. but when it really comes down to it, they got to do what they got to do to get the job done. I love it. And I just love the interaction that each character has with one another. Like, for example, Cap calls out Iron Man for not being a great fighter in one episode, <laughs> and I was like rolling off of that. He was like, dude, all you know how to do is blast and tackle people with your arm. That's it. <laughs> I was I just like, rolling. Well, I don't tell anybody. And uh, right. what you were saying with uh, Thor and uh, the Hulk, when Thor was like, you know, you ain't got no manners and stuff, and you know, you should right. treat a lady, a lady better. Right. And the exactly. Hulk looked at him like, well, which lady you talking about, Blondie? Right. <laughs> <laughs> that was wild. That was wild. So, so you know, and plus, I like that they don't have the Hulk, just some stupid group. Like, yeah, exactly. They, they, they make them like, give them some personality. Yeah. Like, Hulk oh, smash yeah. door. Hulk Crowley. Hulk on cheeseburger. Like, you know, Hulk is kind of like, he has a personality. Right. He's kind of... He, he's a character. He's a character. He's not like, you know, some dumb brute. Like, he, he's a brute, but he's kind of like, he wants to be left alone. Like, don't fuck with him. Don't get on his bad side. He's there to, 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 to hang like out him. and like, huh? Because you, you wouldn't like, like him. Like, mm -hmm. right. cool. But yeah, they, right. they, their, their, their take on the Hulk was pretty cool. Right? I would. <laughs> <laughs> Their take on the Hulk is pretty, is pretty awesome. So, now I like the fact Hawkeye is the only person that stand up to him, but he respects Hawkeye. Oh, yeah. That's kind of funny. Yeah, right, <laughs> right. Dude with no powers, <laughs> you talk shit to the Hulk. That's hilarious. I like when Hulk be like, I I'll join the team before only Cupid joins. <laughs> Cupid, yeah. <laughs> and then he's like, 
You want to go ahead, Chain Charles? You want to go ahead, Charlie Green Jack? And then just interactions like that are killing me. And I will definitely say, I love how they rock in Black Panther in this. Oh, yeah. Just every character, they take care of every character very well. Is that no even Ant-Man. Yeah, yeah, even Ant-Man is, Man is cool the smartest player right. on the team. Like, like I said, I tell people, in this show, I've rarely seen a superhero team show where every character is taken care of and every character kind of shines in their own way. And it's times where Hank makes the most sense. They're like, okay, let's smash. He's like, no, let's talk first. Let's not swing. Smash. Let's talk, see what he Fuck wants. That Hulk smash. Right. <laughs> <laughs> let's see what he wants what he wants for he's no, 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 swing on yeah, that. Throw him, get him. Like, no. With the new Avengers, with the new Avengers series, there's 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 a there's there's just a, a, a vibrant uh, rainbow of, of personalities in, in in the series. And um, what 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 what's really appealing is that is that um, no one outshines each other. Exactly. Definitely not. It's definitely not a Captain America show. show. It's not an Iron. It's definitely not an Iron Man show. Although they made him lead him. Surprise. They made him leader. What it looks like is he slowly. Yeah, he's not going to be leader. He can't be leader. Yeah. He, like his leadership skills need work. It looks like slowly Cap yeah, yeah, made him take over. Right? That's he what it like. the Cap. Well, something's going to change. But it, it's it's a pretty awesome show. If you have not watched it, get your friends to watch it. Make them watch it. You have, if you don't like the show, something wrong with you. Yeah, because y'all pissed me off by getting rid of Spectacular <laughs> Spider-Man. I ain't gonna forget it. A <laughs> <laughs> uh, couple more things about Avengers before we roll on to something else. Uh, one thing that I found kind of cool and tripped out the way, like, a couple of the voice actors they have on there. One of the voice actors, I don't know his name, but the one who portrays Iron Man. I got him. I like the fact that he got him like sounding just like Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. When you do it, and I thought that was kind of cool. And like another thing is also like, you know, some of the episodes and storylines they've done are just like so awesome. Like for example, like like these guys said, if you haven't seen them, the main episodes you really really need to watch are Breakouts Part One and Two, oh, Gamma World Part One and Two. Yeah. The debut of Captain America, I forgot the name of the episode. Uh, Panther's Quest, the debut of the Black Panther. And the last three episodes of the season involving Kane the Conqueror. That's all I gotta say. Like, all the show is so amazing. If you have a friend who, who loves anime, and all he, all he was on was anime, and to sit, him, sit here and watch him, have him watch Avengers, and like Kane the Conqueror, he's like, man, Kane's kind of raw. And he may even, even watch, he's kind of raw too. Like, this, this guy is... is was totally up on anime, but to really to see they done a good job of the Avengers show to make him appreciate the characters in Avengers that he probably would not even cared about five years ago. Yeah, and it's like you can just start off from the first episode because on the first episode that you were saying a uh, uh, breakout, yeah, man, that shit was just crazy. Like just going through that whole thing and like you know the big house with the big house and all right. the different you know. The security Q systems, yeah, the cube, the, yeah. Man, the shit was just crazy, and I'm up to like, I called Corey up, like, man, this shit cold as hell. <laughs> no, I would have to say though, when they had that battle, that last battle with Graviton, wow, man, Woo! yeah, that, that I thought Magneto gave X Men issues, man, and, cool. I, and I think we just haven't seen anything yet because we have other Avengers villains that give the Avengers a lot of problems. Is that good? Oh, right. Yep, yeah, yeah, um, man. That's pins and needles for that Ultron episode. Yeah, now Leroy is probably the the guys read Avengers probably the longest. Probably won't, probably come from the old school. I'm more of a new school Avengers fan. So, so Leroy, what's your take on the show? How they handle everything? So, so far, they have everything good. I mean, it's 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 a little taste of the old and the new right now. The the main thing I'm I'm observing is that um, you know they like I was thinking about the personalities how no one's outshining each other. Especially because of the fact that the Hulk is staying in the group, and we and if you've read the Avengers like I have, you know that the Hulk left after the second issue. Yeah, he sure did. And um, he never really came back. But it's just that it's just that it's very interesting that you know you got two powerhouses, Hulk and Thor, in the group working together at the same time and not at each other's throats. I mean that that. That that's something that you know you 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 are waiting to see like man is how long is this is, is this roster going to last <laughs> you know and um, the fact of the villains is that you know the Avengers do do have a a, a nice uh, roster of villains and I'm looking forward to it and every time I see Ultron I'm like 
when is he going to start? When is he? When is Ultron going to start? I'm guessing season two. I, mm-hmm. I, I kind of think we'll see Ultron in season two. Right, right. You know, and you know, I'm just, I'm just, wow. I'm just, I'm just looking forward to that. I mean, they can do stuff like.